Hello, Chainlink here. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody had a great weekend. And you know, to kick off the week this week, we're gonna be opening up the Pokemon Shrouded Fables. You know, I have the Greninja box right here, guys. And you know, I don't just have one box, I have two and three boxes. So we're gonna open up three boxes of the Greninja EX box for Shrouded Fables. And of course, the promos right here are gonna be up for grabs for a giveaway. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment. What cards are you interested in this set? As for me, out of everything, I mean, I guess Cassiopeia because you know she's like the chase card. But it's, I was actually waiting for this to drop for so I can get the Greninja because just look at it, bro. Just, Greninja is wow. So, um, yeah, guys. Without further ado, we're gonna be opening up three boxes today. That I think that's pretty cool. So two giveaway winners. If I didn't mention that before, it's gonna be two giveaway winners. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, and we're back. So here are the promos. You have the Froki. We have the another Froki. I put them in like stacks of that. And the Frogadier, pretty cool. <laughs> but then the main event is the Greninja. So we're gonna have two giveaways for two sets. So uh, you know, just like tell me what you're chasing, and that'll be pretty pretty cool. Because right now I was just, I was just waiting for these to be honest. Uh, Cassiopeia, <laughs> you know, hopefully we can get it. And yeah, let's kick things off with the code cards for the. Uh, for the the actual boxes you know surprisingly i didn't know it came with five it came with five i thought it was just four but <laughs> you know what I'm so here's the code for the first one cool cool second code yeah, upper grabs i know i know some of you guys play play it because when i when i check these codes later on i see that they're redeemed so somebody's taking them so i figure i just keep doing it uh this is now trash okay so guys let's get started can we hit it off with some first pack magic <laughs> Uh, it'd be pretty cool if we did, you know what I'm saying? It, it's uh, we didn't do it the last video, but we're it's gonna happen. So, I guess the, it's one to the front because it's the energy. So, I guess we're gonna have a chance to guess it. So, water, <laughs> I'm not really good at that, guys. It just happens. So, horsey, the gold bat, actually, you know, these these arts are not too bad. <laughs> you know, ooh, Sylveon, people go crazy for like you know the EV evolution. So, Jamie, okay, Kyrim, and okay, we didn't get a uh, hit that thing. I was gonna say something else. We didn't get a hit, so hopefully we can get something good. I didn't know. Well, the display mini tens. It comes with what 10, 20 packs. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so here we go. <laughs> um, you know what? Could we get something? You know, I did pull last time. I pulled this. Did I? Didn't I get a dust skull? I don't know. For some reason, I I got a dust skull somewhere like randomly, and I feel like I got it from like. Uh, one of the openings. I mean, I don't, haven't really opened this as much. No, I did. The last video, I did get a dust skull. Or was it? I don't remember, man. <laughs> Jeez. The Crobat and a Tapu Bulu. So, okay, it's coming back to me. I kind of remember what I had the first video. Um, but, you know, it was alright. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, hopefully we can get something good. Here we go. Fire. Oh, 15 packs. Oh, I totally skipped that one. 15 packs. <laughs> I'm just kind of breezing through it just to see what we get. Um, oh, okay, Absol. You know, I'm at least <clears throat> I'm expecting at least a hit per box. Uh, that was already three. Uh, but can we uh, double rare at least? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Come on. What are the pull rates? Hopefully, we got something good because um, you know, I really didn't have any high hopes on these because. Uh, I usually prefer just like get it from a booster box to be honest if I can get a booster box I'd rather do that now. Uh, I know for like Twilight Masters I've been I've been dabbling in like other products for that, but I feel like um The next time I do <laughs> Okay, Rever room EX <laughs> Double rare. I think the next time I do something like that uh, It's definitely gonna be a booster box as you know, it's like, at least I guaranteed myself a, a special illustrated rare per box You know what I mean? So this is the last pack from the first box. So hopefully if I can get some leaf energy. <laughs> so hopefully we can get something good. Um, as of right now, we only got one hit. And you know, pools be like that. Again, Iron Moth, Zora, and a <laughs> Okie Dokie EX. Oh, bro, this isn't looking good. <laughs> I mean, you know, in terms of playability, I wouldn't know. Uh, but in, in a, a collection-wise, you know, appreciating the arts, and that's what I'm all about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we got the dark energy. Can't, well, I don't know. You know what? 
Okay, never mind. I thought I was I thought I was tripping out for a bit. So hold on. What was I saying? Uh, you don't tell any paper room. What is it? Ultra rare? Hyper rare? Ultra rare? Uh, ultra rare? The two silver stars. Not really too impressive, but we got a first hit uh, from the uh, other box. <laughs> uh, what was I? What was I gonna say? Dude, I forgot what I was gonna say. I had it fresh in my head and it just just went away from me. Also, I'm wearing a Naruto shirt. It just kind of jogged my memory. Ooh, this is a foil one. Cool. Uh, if you guys are interested where I am at in Naruto, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm at the part where Naruto finally mastered his nine tail chakra. He didn't master it, but he got control of it. And it was just. Oh, I just hold on. Axu and a okay, Mokadori. Um, it was just pretty interesting how. Like we got to see, we got to see him with the nine tail attack. We get to see the relationships with his parents, which was I thought was amazing. So that they included it in there, you know, when he first saw his mom, it was just heartbreaking. I was like, oh man, that's that's something. You know, <laughs> it was, they did a pretty good job, you know. Uh, especially when I watch it in, I'm watching it in a dub, so I know everybody, a lot of you guys watch it in Japanese. Uh, but the dub version, she, you know. She did a good job with the the whole voice. I, mean, I like I like I like the dub right now. You know what I'm saying? They're, I feel like they're doing a really good. Job. Hey, <laughs> Another ghost. Let's go. <laughs> hey, we got a hit. That's pretty cool, man. Let's go. Let's go. I just sold one the other day, which is pretty crazy. All right, now can we get a uh, <laughs> Cassiopeia? Well, you know what? I saw that there was a Gardevoir in here. And I could I kind of piqued my interest a little bit more for this set. So um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of Shrouded Fables. Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to hop back into Twilight Masquerades. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh man, but if I can get a box of like Twilight Masquerades for like a hundred bucks, I think that's that's the point where I, I get another one. But if it's like 120, 110 or something, I'm not even gonna bother with it. You know what I'm saying? But I know. I know a lot of vendors they don't like selling Pokemon that low, especially at a hundred dollars. Even though like MSRP is like around one ten or something, it's because the margins for uh, if you guys didn't know the margins for like Pokemon products is very slim. So like a box they could just only make like twenty dollars off a of booster box, which you know it's still profit. Don't get me wrong. And if you sell enough of it, um, you're gonna do really, you're gonna be doing really well. But you know it's just sometimes it's just you know Pokemon is the more popular one, but it's not really like worth it in terms of value so here we go we are on our last box can we get a cassiopeia or the persian the persian will be pretty nice you know what i'm saying it'll look really good um you know giovanni team rocket i've always been a fan of team rocket uh i don't know if you guys noticed that about me but i usually like to side with the villains <laughs> I don't know why, but then, you know, there you could. Okay, Janie's Secret Art. Not too shabby. We got a trainer. You know, the thing is, well, Pokemon, I don't really collect all the Pokemons out there. Uh, I only do the ones I like, you know, so like my top five, like, you know, Hitmonchan. You have, uh, what is it? Gardevoir, Greninja, uh, Tapu Lele, and what's that? I forget. Uh, oh, Galizopod. Yeah, let's go. I gotta love Galizopod. So those are like the ones I actually collect. But in terms of like other Pokemon cards, it's just strictly trainers. So, um, I like if there's a Charizard, I'm like, oh, okay, it's just a Charizard. <laughs> if an Umbreon, like, okay, it's just it's just an Umbreon. You know, I see it as value. I don't really see it as a collectible for me. But if you showed me like a <laughs> the special illustrated Galassipod, I'm I'm gonna want to trade for that. You know what I'm saying? And keep for myself. It's just, are you guys the same way? Um, you know, because you know, after a while, it's just like oh, it's too much stuff on my desk. Too much, I like stop. I don't know. I'm holding too many things, and uh, I just feel like <laughs> it's just, you know, what I'm saying? even though trading cards are so small, they take up a lot of space when you have an abundance of it. And uh, if you're doing something like I am, where you're you're operating as a small business selling cards on the side, you're gonna have a lot of trading cards. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so here we go. We have the basic energy with the fighting. Just the old tick, Houndour. Yeah, I just had uh, this weekend was a Pokemon Go event. It was pretty cool. It was a Beldum event, so meaning you can catch Metagross. So I caught a few shiny Beldums. It was pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, I just not no really good shiny ones. It was just reg like you know, it's just your average one two star. Uh, nothing really really special. I think I only got one two star out of the whole mix. Um, caught about 
nine, I believe. Nine, nine shiny Beldums. <laughs> it was just, you know, I was out already. I was like, oh, it's, it's pinging me community day. So I hopped on, did it. I stopped playing for like a while. Uh, haven't been really active on it. Oh, oh there's nothing. Okay. But, uh, you know, it was kind of fun. You know, get my steps in that day. Uh, I used to do it every day and you do the daily instance so I could get like 15 minutes of, of walking at least. Uh, but now, yeah, I just stopped. I think we're going to go back to it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go back to it. So here we go. Can I guess this energy? It's going to be dark. Dude, fighting. We are fighting back to back. So here we go. Last pack of magic. Can we get anything good? Um, it's been pretty rough right now. I mean, our value. Even the Dusko kind of saved us, you know what I'm saying, in terms of value. Um, but we definitely want a little more. Okay, okay, we're, we're looking, I don't know how much this is, but it sure is pretty. Double hit? Nah, hacks risk, but hey, well, that's, pretty, that's not bad, that's not bad, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, it's, it's no Cassiopeia. I think I might do a little bit more Shroud of Fables because, you know, the certain products it comes with. Maybe I might go to the, like, a different spot to get them. So here we go. Here are today's hits. I uh, don't know, we're going to just... Do them right here. So we have the Monkey Dory EX. You got the Energy. You got the Weaver Room EX. Oh, it's not bad. The Oki Oki Dogi. Another Weaver Room. You got the Janie's Secret Art. Cressia, Cresslia, and the Dust Skull. So those are today's hits. Winners are announced today. Uh, I think I'm caught up on a lot of giveaway sendouts. Uh, so I think there's like two that I got to replace. Um, but yeah, there's gonna be new winners today. If you guys hadn't seen it, I uh, definitely I gotta I gotta get back in. Oh, on Wednesday, I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram on Friday. If you guys follow me, if you guys don't, whatever. But I do post what I get, like what kind of product I get all the time. So for Wednesday, we're gonna be doing Dragon Ball. Why not? You know, saying we're gonna do Dragon Ball, and then we're gonna end the week with some Yu-Gi-Oh! Battles of Legends for that Dragon Master. Uh, hunt. I feel like that's the thing we gotta do, but uh, I think I might do a little bit more in between um, I definitely got to get more product on Friday the latest I mean if not I do have stuff that I got to open for Monday, but you know the schedule is pretty crammed right now um, but We can make it work. We can we can definitely make it. so t Friday. I mean tomorrow. I mean not tomorrow <laughs> Wednesday It's gonna be the new Dragon Ball. I forget what the set is called uh, but it's like black and yellow and hopefully we can get that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as a special rare stuff like that. But there's really one other card I really want because of the art. I just love that art. It's such an iconic art for me. Um, and, I, you know, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it more when we do the opening on Wednesday. So Dragon Ball Wednesday. Stay tuned for that. See you later, guys. Laters.